Hello and welcome to the unboxing of the MSI B350M Gaming Pro motherboard. It's uh, about £50, so about 75, 70 to 80 US dollars. Uh, it's for the AMD Ryzen. It's usually for the AMD Ryzen 3 or 5 on terms of how many people, what uh, CPU they pair it with, people pair it with, but uh, this can support any Ryzen CPU really. Um, to the information here, yeah, it's compatible. It's got PC Express 3.0, it's got support for Windows 10 and overclocking as well. This chipset does allow overclocking, so this you can uh, get most of your processor as you possibly can. This is on the size on the top. Oh. Here are, and the light is very bright there. Okay, let me just you can just read it out if you feel the language that you, you speak in. We just pause the video. Yeah, there we go. Right, that's the front of it, the back of it is where it tells all the information. <coughs> right. DDR4, steel armor, so it's just uh, it just holds the graphics cards um, less likely for it to fall apart. So it's very helpful when you have very heavy graphics cards. Uh, does support uh, M.2 SSDs actually, so if you ever want to, you can that can help with keyboard management, and it's much faster than just traditional SSDs. Audio boost, gaming LAN, better connectivity, uh, whatever that or well, LEDs, easy debug LEDs. I don't really know what that is, but that's a feature that's on it. Uh, and I think that's a software. X boost thing that's for overclocking, ready for gaming or streaming, um, whatever that is to be honest. Uh, and that's all of the information here as well. Alright, just gonna open it up now. <laughs> for a very cheap motherboard, it's actually, its aesthetics are very well made, it looks really nice. I'm gonna put that aside for now, just gonna see the accessories that it comes with. Oops. Just lift that. There we go, nothing in there. Alright. <clears throat> comes up with a lot of accessories than normal. Let me just fix my tripod up. There we are. Okay, uh, motherboard drivers. Always up, uh, get them the latest drivers from the website. Discs are usually outdated. What is this? What is this? It's like stickers, but... <clears throat> yeah, you can like take them off. I'm not gonna take them off, but... Hmm. I don't actually know what this is. I think this is just for connecting... Uh, I really don't know what, what, what this is, but it's just stickers that says MS on them. That's strange. Okay, we have we have that. Lots of stickers. For whatever reason that is. Um, registration, warranty. If you want to register your product. Quick installation guide. Tells them the information there in different languages. As you can see there, all the languages that it, it makes it in. That must be tells you the information of how to install things and how to put things together if you need to build in computers. That's what it comes with, all of the features in different languages as well. Let's see what languages it has. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to go through every single one because there's lots of languages, but you can see on the other papers that there were quite a few different languages there, so most people will be able to read it. Memory modules, notice you know, this successfully. Ah, okay, so this is when you wanna, how many sticks of RAM do you have? So if you have one stick of RAM, you should put it on the second from the CPU, second from the left. And if you have uh, two, uh, the two sticks on the other side of the CPU, the first on the right and the third on the right. And you have four sticks, obviously gonna put every single one of them in there, so that's not much of a problem. And that's just to install the MD Ryzen CPU. Very straightforward. 
<coughs> uh, two SATA cables, SATA data cables. Uh, oops, black ones. Uh, only one of them is right angled, the other one is just straight. But yeah, this one's right angled. That's what came around and that's pretty much it for accessories and IO shields at the back. Which again does look pretty nice. Hey, there. <coughs> actually nothing else in the box. And the extra motherboard itself. I'm just going to go over all the features. Actually, I'm going to put the box over it. There we go. Come on. Very nice. So the colour scheme they went with this is just simply black and red, which in my opinion are really good colours to go mixed up with, together with. This bit here is a bit wonky for some reason, but that should be fine. Okay, let's just start. Uh, let's just start from the top. <clears throat> right. Eight pin CPU power, so that's definitely going to help with overclocking. Less likely of things going wrong or frying or whatever. See, you should say that should that would be the CPU fan up there over here. Two sticks of DDR4 modules on the side there. Um, I don't know those little pins are there for. Yes. Two pins there. I'm not completely sure what this is, but it's there. 24 pin power motherboard connectors, two SATA ports. An additional two SATA ports, so four in total, so you can put four drives in total. And all the front panel connectors are here. USB, USB 3.0, USB, USB, M.2 slot right here. And all the screw holes to make it compatible with. Uh, USB, I think that's USB, yeah. No, it's not. That's something else. I think that must be a card reader, I think. A chassis fan. Port, uh, HD audio port. What else? That's screw holes, Beta Express one times, and another chassis fan right there, and the mounting uh, holes for the Ryzen motherboard. That uh, motherboard, Ryzen CB cooler. That's pretty much it for the face of it. Yep, that's pretty much it. And on the back bits. This will work with um, PS2 keyboard and mouses, USB, two USB 2.0s on this side, VGA uh, port, DVI-D or DVI-I, can't remember which one it is, but it's a DVI port, HDMI, I think that would just be, I think that's USB 3.0 or 4.0, actually let me just check, we could do a quick Google search, nope, just checked, it's just USB 3.0s, they just follow the uh, sort of color scheme here, so I just checked the, the, the motherboard manual. Yeah, these are just 3.0s uh, USB slots of four USB 3.0s, the Ethernet port, and the HD audio ports as well for your headphone mic. That's pretty much it for this, actually. CMOS, CMOS battery right there. Um, what else? MOSFET cool link. And that's pretty much it as well as the chipset. So that's how it's going to look in your case. It's going to look really nice actually. Especially if you have a, also another a case that is black and red. Sort of color scheme will look really good. Uh, and yeah, there's not much else I could say about this. It looks... I would recommend this. I mean, purely for looks and the features it comes with, I would recommend this. But I don't actually know it's reliability because I haven't put this in a build yet. But so far it looks really nice. Definitely the best motherboard that I've bought so far. So yeah, I'm happy with this one. It's a good I'd recommend it. <coughs> uh, thank you for watching this unboxing and I'll just see you in another video.